In this video, I'm going to show you recording and running tests, creating multiple tests, grouping tests into test suites, saving test project, and running tests in test suite. When you first open the Selenium IDE, it will ask you what you want to do. I'm going to choose record a new test in a new project option. This option will immediately start recording a test. But before that, we need to give it a project name. A project name is simply a highest level of grouping of all the tests and will be the file name when you save this project. Next, we need to give the application's URL. I'm giving google.com. And finally, press the start recording button to let Selenium IDE start recording the application. At this point, it started recording the application. You can see a little notification at the bottom right corner. And then here, I'm going to simply type Selenium IDE example, and then I'm going to hit enter. And now, I'm going to switch back to Selenium IDE and notice that it has all these steps that is already recorded. And finally, click on the red stop recording button to stop the recording. At this point, it's asking me a test name. I'm going to give test one and then press OK. Let me press the play button to run the test. And now the test is running. Now it's entering the Selenium IDE example and the test is done. And that's how simple it is to record and playback tests in Selenium IDE. Now let me create a couple more tests so that I can show you how to create and organize multiple tests into test suites and run all of them. To add a new test, click on the plus button and then enter the test name and click on add and then start recording by clicking on the record button. Then enter some search string and then click on the stop recording button. Now let me create another test. So we have three tests to work with. Now we have three tests. Let me show you how to rename a test. The third test also clicks on tabs. So I'm going to rename it to test3-tabs. Now you can organize these individual tests into groups called test suites. To do that, simply select test suites menu. And by default, you will see a default suite with the first test selected. So what we'll do is we'll rename the default test suite. And then click on add tests to add more tests to this suite. Now I'm going to repeat the process to create two more test suites. Now I'm going to save this project to my computer. Note that it saves this file with a .side file extension, which stands for Selenium IDE. Now let me run all the tests in this test suite. To do that, simply select one of the tests in the test suite and then click on the run all the tests in test suites button. It will now run both the tests and then show you the results of both the tests. Here both tests are in green, which means both tests have passed. Now we can also run all these tests individually by simply going back to the tests menu and then clicking on the run all tests button. And then it will run all the tests one by one. But the gist of it is that Selenium IDE is very flexible and allows you to easily create multiple tests and group them into test suites and run them either as a single test or as part of a test suite or as group of individual tests. That's pretty much it. In the next video, I will go deeper into adding, editing and debugging individual test steps.